40s, early 40s, there was a lot of singers. But uh, in the 50s, they started to die out, pass away, and a lot of the young, younger ones uh, didn't keep up the tradition. My father, Anthony Andreas, he, uh, he was raised, he knew birds as a youngster, but then um, when he got older, he kind of went off track and then he came back to it. And uh, once he came back to it, he felt the need to, uh, that it was gonna be disappearing and that he, somebody needed to step up and bring it back. And so that's what he did. When, when you talk about things and your songs and stuff, it comes from your heart. You have a lot of meaning to it. As generation to generation to generation, eventually it came out because once they started powwows, once they started powwows, that's when the, that's when the public came out to see the, the, the culture itself. They need to be in good standing and they need to be a tribal member to represent our tribe. You couldn't mix the sacred and the secular. It caused trouble. And the, the honorable thing to notice, I think people could have taken advantage and sung the wrong things in the wrong places to get prestige or something. Then years later, we were at a rodeo and my dad heard a some singing and it was the the men from um, Arizona singing bird songs and he, he got so emotional about it that he had he remembers those songs and that you know he didn't hear them anymore back home and here he was hearing them here that he decided you know somebody's got to do something about this and he learned them he got permission from um, the Potencio family and he learned them and then he taught them to us the young want to learn them, and that's very important. They, they want to dance to these songs, and this is the only link they have to their traditional past, I mean, is the bird songs. And that's why I think it's, it's lasted this long, because there was a need for identification, to identify something from their past. They don't want to be known as Indians just in name only. They want to have something from the past. And that's what these bird songs are doing, is, is binding the young together. Each generation, there seems to be a desire to learn to be partake in these bird songs. Not just anybody uh, can just go out and represent our tribe. Even if they're descendants, 